hey beauties welcome back to my channel so today I'm being doing a makeup tutorial and I'm just pretty much putting my base on my eyelids and I'm just using concealer for that I've been breaking out so much lately and I've had the flu for two weeks so just bear with me I look terrible oh my god my face is swollen my eyes are swollen my nose it's just crazy okay and I'm just setting my base with some translucent powder and today I'm using the Tartlet toasted palette and I'm gonna use that color latte and I'm just gonna focus that on the outer corner for now and I'm just pretty much just putting as much as I want um, just focusing it on the outer corner for now then I'm gonna use the color cashmere and warmth and I'm basically just gonna blend that out and I'm just gonna just blow it out all over my crease and I'm just I love this palette because it has a lot of warm tones and I'm just making sure everything is blended out now I'm gonna take the color Fireside, which is just a matte brown shade in this palette and I'm gonna focus that on the outer corner of my eye just to give it more depth and definition and you guys could just tell my voice sounds so different because I've literally been suffering I have bags under my eyes because my babies got sick they got sick with me and it's just been a long two weeks of being sick and now I'm just putting concealer on my lid and I'm just gonna focus that on half of my lid and I do this just so my eyeshadow will stick on my lid and also because I feel like it enhances the color even more when you do this extra step and today I'm going to use the Stella eyeshadow and it's called Kitten, I believe. It is absolutely beautiful. You could actually use it for a highlight as well. You can use it for whatever you want. Um, I was talking to a lady from Sephora and she was actually from like Stella, the company, and she was telling me that you could use it for a highlight as well too. And now I'm just taking the color Fireside and Cozy and just blending the outer corner out. Just making sure everything is just blended. And for eyeliner, I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild eyeliner and just make it easy. Super easy. I haven't done my makeup in like almost two weeks. My nails are looking horrible. Like, I'm just looking like a hot mess basically. But I haven't been out of the house. So I just decided to film a video. And I'm gonna start filming more you guys I just got a new vanity and yes I'm just feeling more inspired but yay I just so excited for this video to go up and today I'm gonna be using these lashes they're called they're from a company called illustrious lashes and these are these are called actually illustrious it is absolutely beautiful I love it and I am going to use my Becca backlight primer just because my skin's so dry. I just want to glow within. And you can just see like how my face just been struggling with acne. Those are actually just um, healing up. And today I'm using my Too Faced, my Too Faced foundation born this way foundation I'm so sorry you guys I sound like a newbie I'm like forgetting what I'm putting on my face but and I'm just blending it out I just love this foundation because it gives you a really nice natural coverage but it's still very full coverage it's buildable as well this is definitely one of my top foundations and I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just to highlight my face and I've also been using my MAC Prep and Prime and this is in rose just to give me a bright under eye and I mix those two together I feel like it gives me that perfect under eye look and you could just see how like it brightens up my face 
yes i needed foundation i need all the concealer in the world right now it just made me look a hundred times better and to contour my face i'm using the la girl contour shade in um beautiful bronze this is one of my favorite shades to contour with and yes, I'm just going all out with the contour and all out with the makeup because I haven't put on makeup and I just really wanted to like beat my face and just look snatched for today. I honestly didn't do anything this day. I just wanted to look pretty because <laughs> I've been looking crazy lately, like no makeup, hair looking crazy, everything. And I'm also contouring my nose per usual. Um, I didn't really want to go like super intense so you can see I'm just putting a little bit on my nose. Because I'm still going to set it with some powder. And of course my forehead. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me you guys. I'm obviously struggling with my throat right now. But bear with me and I'm also gonna contour under my chin as well and just blend it out with my foundation brush um, I like to do this extra step just to make sure everything is blended out there's no harsh lines now I'm setting it with my Laura Mercier powder um, setting it slash baking my face um, when I want to look extra snatch, I definitely make this extra step. It definitely helps you to contour. And I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. This is also one of my favorite bronzers and go-tos. And I'm just hitting them like under my chin. Now I'm taking this smaller brush just to contour my nose just a little bit. Um, nothing too harsh. I do not like a harsh contoured nose. Um, I think it's pretty, but you know, on a regular day, I, I want it to look um, as natural as possible. Um, I focus more on my like, cheekbones, just because. <coughs> excuse me. Just because I feel like. Um, my face needs more shaping and yes I have the Anastasia I'm ready um, highlighter and I love this if you follow me on my Instagram you guys probably know I have this I have two of them one for me one for my clients and I am absolutely in love it's so beautiful super intense the champagne gold you know it's just like that perfect universal shade which I really really love Just putting that all in the high points of my face yes I just love it and now I'm using my Fenty blush highlighter um, I will let you guys know down below or just ask me and I'll definitely reply back I don't know exactly what it's called and I felt like it needed more colors so I'm using my benefit um, blush in Coralista and I'm gonna set that with my Kat Von D locket spray I have a little mini version and now I'm just going for my under eyes and I'm using latte and cozy and I'm just hitting up that bottom lash line And I'm also putting the color Candle, which is like this shimmery shade. And I just randomly put that on my inner corners just to make it pop a little bit more. And I also use a little bit of Fireside, which is that brown matte shade. Just a little bit, just to blend it out. And I'm, you can tell I'm just like blending out like my edges a little bit more. Making sure everything is like blended out we don't like no harsh lines but yeah and now for the lips I'm using my one of my favorite go-to's go-to's is my NYX pencil right now and this is called downtown beauty I've been using this for so long you guys 
it's really bomb i just love it and now i'm mixing it with the this has been my combo you guys so i'm mixing it with the color pop aquarius lip liner and together they just look so pretty on the lips i just feel like this would look good on anyone anybody it's just so beautiful um i also use this combo on my clients and i do deal with different skin tones and it just everything looks good look at my hair you guys like girls man it's it looks crazy like and now i'm using my mac uh, mariah carey collection and she has two this is more of that pinky nude shade and she has one that's like a brown nude shade but this is more like the pinky one like i said if you want to know what it is just ask me and this is the final look beauties thank you guys so much for watching i missed you guys i'm glad i could give you guys a video to watch and please subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel and if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i will see you guys soon